we know this year is a big anniversary, 35th anniversary of the relationship. Can you take us back to those months and weeks in 71 and 72? How hard was it for you, for President Nixon, and for your Chinese counterparts to rise above domestic politics and establish this very relationship? I consider myself very lucky to be able to participate with a number of great men in doing something new. One doesn't often have that opportunity in life. When we started, there had been 162 meetings between Chinese and American diplomats, which had no progress whatsoever. In Geneva and uh, Warsaw. And Warsaw. Uh, I think both sides were lucky in the sense that Chairman Mao on the Chinese side and President Nixon on the American side said, let's put aside the quarrels of technical subjects. Let's concentrate on talking to each other about where we want to go. So that way we can understand what we're trying to achieve. And when you read the first conversations between these leaders, they talked almost like philosophers. Uh, we had to overcome a number of established principles, say, on Taiwan. Uh, but it happened. And it happened in a friendly atmosphere. And it laid the basis for uh, 40 years of on the whole improving relations.